Hey, it's Nat here, your local vertical farming expert, more or less. So for the past couple months, I've actually been growing these hydroponic jalapeno peppers in my closet using the cracking method. But before I go more into that, I would like to take a moment to stop and thank you guys. This grow turned out absolutely awesome, and a really big part of that is all the support I've received on this channel so far. All the feedback I get from these videos, I actually learn so much from, and I'm able to directly apply them to my grows. We reached 200 subscribers a couple days ago, and I really wanted to take a moment to thank you the viewer for watching and subscribing and taking time out of your day to watch my little grows. Genuinely, like from the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate all the support I've gotten so far and I hope you'll continue to watch my content and grow with me. I'll be linking a Medium article with like photos and like just the text version of this whole grow in my bio, so feel free to check that out. So if you prefer to read versus watch, that's there for you. This actually worked, so like watch till the end and you'll see how I did it. Yay! So without further ado, let's actually get into how these hydroponic jalapenos turned out. So I have three sprouted seedlings in front of me. We have some nice roots happening over here, but I can't use all of these, so I'm gonna eat one. I've never had jalapeno microgreen. I don't know if it's a real thing. I don't know if I'll die, but we'll see in the next 24 hours if the poison hits. It really tastes like absolutely nothing. Like maybe a microgreen, but like not even. Better than the pumpkin microgreen. It just tastes a little bit like leaf. So we have a plant here. Yay, nothing is dying. I say that so happily with so much love in my heart. This is the healthiest plant I think I've ever grown. Besides being mauled by my cat a couple times, he's like, he's actually doing really, really great. We have some flowers at the bottom and we have more little buds. It's such a beautiful plant. There's a very lovely like purple tinge to this plant and I absolutely love it. I have never seen a jalapeno actually grown before. So it's amazing to see like these flowers about to bloom, like little bells, like Christmas time and I usually don't think of jalapenos as a Christmas time plant but I think it's just absolutely like adorable this is one of the best looking plants I've ever seen <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really excited for this girl. There are some minor issues. There's a little bit of dotting on the leaves I feel like it's not a pest or anything My mom looked at it too and we both settled on the fact that it was probably an issue with the light or like an issue with the nutrient Concentration just the fact that this guy's been sitting in this water for a long time I've been refreshing it as a jar empties like waiting so that I could transfer it to another bigger jar So I'll be doing that soon, but that could have possibly cause these dots to form. There's a bit of acne forming at the base of the plant. So on the stem, there's like these little white ridges. Acne is the best way I can describe it just cause of like the way the bumps look. It doesn't seem too bad. It's an indicator of stress in the plant from what my resources said. Having two plants in one jar just isn't ideal. Later on, I should probably split them apart. I should have done this before. I haven't seen too much algae pop up. Um, so it hasn't been too bad, but obviously it could be better and it needs more water. I did not put tape on the jar before I spray painted it. I found this out because I just went to spray paint it again. And how am I supposed to check the water level? So I messed up a little. I was not supposed to do the ratios I did. I accidentally did it like by a magnitude of two. There is a very easy fix to this. I could just pour out the solution that is in the jar and then dilute it with water. But I kind of want to see what happens to the plant. I know I just said this was the most beautiful plant I've ever grown, but <laughs> science experiment time. It's only been a day, um, but he looks actually fine. There's been a lot more flowers blooming. I think we got like three or four new ones. There's three ways this can end. Death, like the plant just goes into shock and dies. The plant indicates that there's some stress and then I can fix the water, no problem, it'll be fine. And three, the plant flourishes. Number three sounds kind of nice, we'll see. Let's just bet on it going well. If it goes bad, oh well, I'll fix it. I have never pollinated a flower before. From what I read online, all flowers have the same basic structure in terms of like fruiting plants. So I'm going to assume that the flowers with the shorter rods are male and then the longer rods are female. I mean, we'll see if the plant produces fruit or not. And I just don't know. So I'm just gonna take this paintbrush and work some magic. <laughs> Okay, this is I'm holding it. I'm holding this paintbrush and it's it's not like doing anything like this I don't know if this is pollen or seeds because 
These look like seeds. For the pumpkin grow, it was like a fuzzy pollen inside the flowers, very clearly pollen. But these look like seed clumps, so I really don't know what to do with that. Look, 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 look. I have so many babies. There's like one right there. Do you see that one? And then I think that one is starting. And then there's this one up there. I cannot properly convey my happiness and excitement and joy for the world. He's so precious. I'm actually gonna have like multiple peppers. I'm gonna be able to eat this. Like not just me, my family will be able to eat everything that these two plants grow. I'm so excited. Okay, it's dying a little bit. I wanna say dying, okay, let me rephrase. I feel like I manifested this of the plants. I'm like, oh, it's dying, but it's not dying. It's just going through a little rough patch and I will fix it. I think we learned from this experiment with doubling the concentration. Sure, there was a lot of flowers that bloomed, but like the new growth, like this leaf is yellow and the newer ones are like really ugly colors. The plant is like not dying dying, but it's definitely not in the best shape it could be. So I think I'm going to separate this bad boy into the two separate plants in two separate jars and then I'm gonna split the nutrients that are left in here and that should fix everything. <laughs> this through because it's so ingrained in the holes of this one the only way to like get it out is to cut it out <laughs> i'm in pain i don't know what to do new plan we're just gonna keep using the big jar <laughs> okay So it's been a couple weeks. Here's the jalapeno plant. He looks so good. See how big this is? He's so handsome. The leaves at the bottom are a little droopy. Like this one right here, like look at it, boing. Plant, it's not supposed to do that. So I'm just going to take some leftover solution from last time and pour that in. Over the past couple months, I've come to the realization that a lot of gardening is just waiting to see what happens. I don't have an opinion on that yet and I'll keep you posted once I do. Boom. A child. So there's been some discoloration on some of the leaves in the bottom. I added more nutrient solution and hopefully that fixes it up. Look how absolutely beautiful this pepper is. He's so small. Cole, what are you doing? Are you okay? My guy doesn't look so good. He's drooping. So usually when I see drooping, I assume the plant needs more nutrient solution. So even though I added it and it's been a couple hours, there really has been absolutely no change in the plant. I'm scared it's gonna come to an end. I'm just so used to death in this closet. I hope he's okay. I don't know. Like, I, I honestly don't know what the problem could be, so I cannot solve it. So if any of you guys have any idea what it could be, please comment down below for next time. My guy is not doing so hot and I do not know why. I can't tell if the roots are rotten or if that's just the color of the nutrient solution. Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Like, I don't know what to do here. I don't know why this is happening. So because water level isn't the issue, uh, there's two possible other things it could be, I think. It's possible the nutrients over accumulated, particularly nitrogen, and that's why it's not going so great. Or it's just like a huge pH disbalance, but I don't know because I never checked pH because I don't know, I don't have any way to do that right now. I got a pH meter, but it'll be coming in like two days. Like, I don't know if that's enough time for the plant. I don't know if he's gonna make it that long. I just don't know what to do here. I think that refreshing the nutrient solution like completely might solve all of these issues. So I guess that's the only thing I can do. So I'm going to do that. The jar is definitely too small. The roots are definitely going to be cramped in there, but this is all I have right now. After the drooping, the growth was kind of stunted. Like there was definitely like a point in time where peppers just stopped growing. Didn't love that. So then I just ended up with a bunch of like tiny mini peppers. But besides that, I was actually able to eat a decent amount of peppers. And I'm so mad. I filmed me trying the jalapeno peppers, which first of all, I didn't do it with gloves on. So like my hands were stained with spicy pepper juice for like the week that followed. And the amount of time I spent burning for the sake of this video, only to lose the footage. <laughs> My heart is broken. It hurts more than the actual burning of the peppers, but it's fine. First of all, learn my lesson. Don't cut jalapeno peppers without protection. I thought it was a joke. I was like, oh, like how bad could it be? And it hurts. It's terrible. Don't recommend. And second, I don't know what happened to that footage. I am, it's a mystery. Scooby-Doo gang, if you want to come figure it out, please. But I do have some like iPhone footage of me cutting into the pepper. So I'll splice that in right here. Here's a normal pepper. 
Look at the red and green one. Yo, it's a red on one half. That's so cool. Here is the red pepper. So I thought I would take a quick second into the shortcomings of this girl and I guess things that could have been better. I did not end up testing pH, though I do have a kit now. So next time, if I don't test pH in a video that's recent, Feel free to clown me in the comments. Definitely could have separated it into two jars. And I put way too much nutrient in that water. And there was absolutely no need for me to glug the absolutely most concentrated ratios of this nutrient solution that I had. Just no, like unneeded. I doubt it did anything positive for the plant. I never really figured out what the drooping was. I also didn't figure out what the specks in the leaves were and if the ridges on the stems were actually a stress thing or was it something else going on with the plant. So if you guys have any idea what that was, please, please comment down below. When you guys help out, just like I said earlier in the video, uh, you actually help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And when you help out, we all grow better together. If you would take a second to subscribe to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Of course, put notifications bell on so you actually get notified when I post a video. Feel free to check out that Medium article, which will be linked below. And thank you so much. Aww. I can grow a plant than anybody can.